Well, 25 years after the LA riots, community members of various colors and faiths sat at the dinner table to talk race relations. And as Gil Reyes reports, how to prevent violence in the future. The conversation at dinner got uncomfortable at times. This is real stuff. When I said honest, this is what we have to do. Black activist Danny Bakewell, among the diverse group of dinner guests, invited to break bread at the home of Council President Herb Wesson and his family. It's all part of a program called Embrace LA, getting race issues out in the open. This conversation is about the future. This is a conversation is about where we want our children to be. I can speak for black people. We still have massive incarceration. Right. We still have police brutality running rampant. Black people have no jobs in this city. What it does is it creates animosity with other ethnic groups. It's not just about us coming up. It's why are the Latinos getting all the jobs? It's why are these Asian people coming and white people coming and buying up all the houses in our neighborhood? And that can fuel violence, like it did 25 years ago during the L.A. riots. And today, the city's Human Relations Commission says hate crimes against blacks, Latinos, Jews, and transgender women are up. The dinner conversation got brutally honest and surprisingly funny at times. People often refer to me as oriental, ornamental, ja, or chin. And uh, even as a young teenager, I would stop these people and tell them, if they're going to offend me, get it right, I'm a gook. LA Times executive Susie Jack and council member Mitch O'Farrell, both openly gay, mentioned racial and sexual intolerance in their hometowns and how they fled to Los Angeles to escape and maybe change things. You know, I'm feeling a lot of shame, feeling a lot of shame for, for white people, for myself and, you know, a little bit with my family and trying to figure out how to channel that into some productive way. I can play a part in making sure that we enact policy that will guard against those regressions. That, to me, is inspiring. And, and very positive when I'm hearing the discussion here. At dinner at the home of Council President Herb Wesson, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. The city's Human Relations Commission found hate crimes have risen sharply, particularly in downtown and on the west side.